Interior Principal Secretary Karanja Kibicho yesterday clashed sharply with Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko after the latter accused him of holding night meetings to plot against Deputy President William Ruto's 2022 presidential bid. Sonko fired the first several in the morning during an interview with Kami Matham, accusing Kibicho of ganging up with some three unnamed senior civil servants against Ruto's ambitions. He alleged that four top officials in President Uru Kenyatta's administration have been claiming that the Kikuyu community will not support Ruto at the next general election but did not disclose how he had come to know of it. Yesterday, Kibicho, who is in charge of the intelligence and security portfolio headed by C.S. Fred Mashangai, denied attending or organizing any night meetings to derail Ruto's presidential bid. We don't do night meetings and if we did, I would tell you. Nobody is trying to fight the DP but there is a cartel of people who always act like they are his protectors. I run the intelligence of this country and there are no such meetings, said Kibicho. For now I can only name two, Kibicho and Nancy Gitta. There are two others who I will name later, Sonko told the star last evening. Kibicho dismissed Sonko's allegations and advised the governor to concentrate on cleaning up Nairobi. Tell Sonko to man up and address the people he wants to address but not through me. He should address that person directly because that's what men do. I am not a politician and neither would I be politicking around the DP, Kibicho said angrily. Kibicho claimed that his differences with the city county boss started when he stopped the farmer from flying two flags on his official vehicle recently. Our problem started when he tried to fly two flags like the president and because I am the interior PS, I am responsible for making him remove the flags. When you are drowning, you hold on to everything including straws. Tell him to leave Kibicho alone and start cleaning Nairobi, he said. Sonko also accused Kibicho of dictating to him whom he should nominate as the next deputy governor of Nairobi. These are the same people who want